Welcome back, fellow learners. Today, we will be looking into the extreme future, top trends that will reshape the world. In my previous video, I mentioned that the education system is broken and that this is a global problem. Well, how about we fast forward into the future and see how we are coping with this problem in, let's say, 20, 50 or even 100 years. And for that, let's look into the extreme future, a book written by James Canton in 2006. At the time of writing, James Canton was the CEO and chairman of the Institute for Global Futures. The idea of the book is simple, to show top trends that will reshape the world. As you can see, education is not mentioned as one of the trends, but trust me, the topic is widely discussed in almost each point. For this video, I have divided the paragraphs regarding the future of education into two scenarios. So let's start with the pessimistic predictions. The education system fails to prepare people for the jobs of the future. Ill-prepared workforce increases the risks of a failing economy. Top 10 predictions. Top 10 terrorist targets. And number 10, the education system. Cheer up, everyone. We also have optimistic predictions. How about free online education? Or living a healthier and longer life? And look at this. Top 10 industries that will benefit from the innovation economy. At number 8, education and learning. So there you have it. As per my interpretation of the extreme future, these are the risks of not doing anything to improve the education system. But we can do something. We can work to improve the education system. Wouldn't you like to live a healthier and longer life? I personally would love to see the days of good quality free online education. As you can see, the benefits of investing in improving education are too great to ignore. Just one note before finishing this video. The extreme future is highly based on the future of the United States. For instance, James Canton sees China as a threat to the United States. He also considers that if the US fails, the world will fail. I personally don't share this point of view. I particularly would love to see the innovation and economy prosperity shifting from the United States more towards Central and South America and other countries such as India. In my books, education is a global issue, not just the United States. Thanks for watching. Please remember to leave comments and give the video a like if you actually found it interesting. And join me next time for an analysis of the book in 100 years. Leading economists predict the future. Happy learning.